today I'm going to be showing you guys how to read uh, your codes if you have your check engine light on. I'm going to show you guys how to read it or pull it up. All you need is a basic scan reader, OBD2 code reader like this. This is like 25 bucks on eBay. Um, and your the OBD port is always going to be underneath here depending on your car, but it's usually here. And before we plug that up, you want to make sure that your car is on the second position. And you go under here, then you plug it up. You sit inside so it's not making that noise. We're gonna close the door. Now to pull up your codes, you're gonna click enter on the OBD2. Then you're gonna click read codes. Current DTCs. This one has no codes, so that means it has no check engine light. Um, the car, let me see, it can have a stored codes without the check engine light on. Uh, the way to check that is if you go on the pending DTCs, click enter. So this vehicle has zero codes. Now, <clears throat> the way to tell um, when you disconnect the battery terminals, that'll wipe out the, the check, check engine light on, on your car. So that means if you hook up your, your code reader, it'll say no codes. Now, if you drive it about, let's say 20, 30 miles, check engine light will pop back up. Um, the way to check if it's, uh, if it was just disconnected, if the battery terminals were disconnected recently is you go on the IM setting. So you see all the green check marks. That means that this vehicle has completed a cycle. So if we take it for emission, it'll pass emission. Those gray, uh, those gray bars, don't worry about that. That doesn't count. If you reset the code, and you start the car and you read the IM readiness, you're gonna have about three, four, five, six incomplete cycle. That means that you have to drive the vehicle to complete the cycle to pass emission on it. That's how you check. Now we're gonna start the car. So if I take this for emission, it'll pass emission with no problem. Here in Atlanta, you don't have to do any special smog or check the tire pressure. All they care about is if the light bulb, the check engine light sign on the dash works. And if all the monitors are ready. Now I'm going to show you guys a vehicle that has a stored code but can still pass emissions. So before you spend any money on fixing your car to pass emission, what you could do first is you can reset the code. I'm gonna check it on that silver Ford Escape. Now this one has oxygen sensor codes and the check engine light was on, but all I wanted to do was pass emission on it. So what I did, let's go ahead and get in the car. Let's put it on the on position. Go ahead and start it too. Now, all I want to do is pass emission on this. If you want to, if you have a code that has a catalytic converter code, EVAP code, or oxygen sensor code, you don't necessarily have to spend mon the money to fix it, to pass emission on it, if the car drives great. If, there, if it 
there, there's no drivability issues with it and you just want to pass emission on it what you could do first is you can reset the code you guys right now so the as long as the check engine light symbol is not on your dash and you look here on the IM setting I am readiness so it's all green but when you go back and read codes current DTCs you see you have a P2270 that is your uh, oxygen sensor code but there's no check engine light the reason why that is is because I reset the code and I drove the car about 20 30 miles it's gonna be you can you have to drive the car to complete the cycle and every car is gonna be different you can drive it 20 miles 30 miles 50 miles before you can have all the I am uh, readiness cycle like that so read codes I know I have a code pending but it's not triggering the check engine light right now so if I take this for emission right now it'll pass emission but if I keep driving it like that eventually the check engine lights gonna come back on that is one way to um, pass emission without spending any money first also on older vehicles uh, I believe it's two year 2000 and older you can have two incomplete and it'll pass emission but on 2001 and up you gotta have just one incomplete uh, on the IM readiness to pass emission on it. If you have two incomplete, you gotta keep driving the vehicle. But that's just, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the basics on how to use this and how to pass emission in your car. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, I'll try to keep making videos every week. Thank you.